Dr Bullard, do you think there's a risk of a double whammy on inflation uh, in 18 months to two years' time as the impact of this monetary policy easing comes through at the same time as the rebuilding inflation uh, impact in Christchurch and around New Zealand? Well, I think we've all got a challenge um, for the next couple of years as this rebuilding takes place. It's a massive rebuilding. It's sort of roughly four times Christchurch's normal building program. It's a, we believe the earthquake effect on our current numbers does something like adds 2.5% growth next year. It's very significant by New Zealand standards. So I think we've all got a challenge here, and the challenge is first of all a depressed and um, disrupted year this year, but then some years of quite strong growth. So there is a risk. Um, and that's why we're just going to have to be very alert to the economic numbers that come through. We have, on the other hand, um, observed uh, pretty um, uh, moderate inf inflation coming through from the GST increase. That's all happened in a pretty orderly sort of way. Inflation expectations have looked pretty anchored. That's given us some confidence that we can actually cut today. But we will have to remove some of that accommodation at some stage. How much extra... Um traction does the move in floating, floating mortgages give you and ability to, to spin on a, on a dime, if you like, and reverse back that, the, the cut if you need to? Well, I don't know about spin on a dime uh, exactly, but uh, I think the fact that, that now most New Zealanders are on floating or pretty close to floating mortgage rates when they're borrowing does mean that there's a, quite a lot more flexibility on monetary policy. And when the time comes to tighten, uh, we've got some confidence that monetary policy will have significant traction as a result of that. Are you worried uh, too internationally that central banks will be too slow to um, tighten monetary policy if inflation gets going, as we're seeing with commodity prices? Well, Bernard, you know the old Libyan proverb that a man doesn't laugh at another man's camel. <laughs>